Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Miracle. What do you know about this movie? It's a hockey film. Yeah, hockey movie. So first hockey movie we've seen on the channel. Mm -hmm. It has Kurt Russell, who we've seen plenty. Yes. Super awesome. Yeah, very excited for more Kurt Russell. And I think it's a uh, true story. Oh, all right. So we've seen decent amount of boxing on the channel between Rocky, Raging Bull, um, and then we saw Field of Greens. <laughs> Field of Dreams. <laughs> it was a farm. <laughs> and now we have hockey. So definitely excited to get into it because I think it's going to be another feel good type of movie similar to Field of Green Dreams. <laughs> I enjoyed that um, field of dreams and the way that it just like made me feel like warm and fuzzy inside. Yeah, a lot of movies we watch, you're either kind of sad or depressed or just scared or something. We don't have very many movies that we've seen that when it's over, you're like, all right. Yeah, I feel like we get a lot of that maybe with the TV shows. Yeah, that's true. Um, more so. So I'm excited. Oh, well, hopefully this is a feel good. I think I'm assuming it is. <laughs> it, it better be. <laughs> <laughs> they made a movie about it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this as well as everything else that we have reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links will be in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Well, I'm not a crook. I shall resign. The <laughs> I am a crook. The silicon chip one day impact our daily lives. That's very true. A magic box of oh man. We must whip inflation right now. Oh, that's topical. The long gas lines dealing with another oil price. And so history just kind of repeats itself <laughs> yeah. over and over and over. We just like went through all the news. Yeah, what a recap of American history. Everybody's waiting to see us. The only way we can compete with the Eastern Bloc teams is if we're willing to change. He looks so different when he's not like in an action role. Wait, I didn't even recognize him. You didn't realize I was Kurt Russell? No, not until he started talking. We'll need to change the way we play the game. He also looks old. old. Yeah. You actually think you can take a bunch of kids who've never played together and teach them a whole new style of play in the time we have? Pretty aggressive changes. Now, we all know we're a long shot for a medal, but we don't want to get embarrassed either. It's going to take a miracle. <laughs> The Soviets win because they take that talent and they use it inside a system that's designed for the betterment of the team. My goal is to beat them. Gold medalist in 64, 68, 72, 76. Jeez, what a streak. Hey, where are the kids? Oh, I gave them away. <laughs> What's that? It's a costume party. No, oh, come on. You're gonna make me work. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've got a mustache for you oh, and Patty. a little dog for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like no coach really wants this opportunity. Patty, it's for Herb, someone from the USOC. Ooh. Oh, no. This ain't nothing. <laughs> Avoiding the party. I got the job. How about that? Oh, great. Two weeks? They want you to start that soon? Gotta call Craig Patrick right now. Yeah, why wait two weeks? Just start now. How you doing? Good. Silver Coda. Coda? At least there's a lot of interest. Right. A lot of guys from Minnesota and Boston. Yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> Rest of your boys all here? Might want to wait a day or so before you go over and say hi. Competitors? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Quite a history. I know absolutely nothing about hockey. All I know is that it's brutal. Cross him off the list, Walter. Kid doesn't have a shot in hell of making this team. Oh, wow. Sometimes it doesn't make sense that they're like just pouring sweat and stuff, but they're out there on ice. Hey, Herb, I just want to let you know how much I'm looking forward to being able to coach with you. You're gonna make a hell of a coach. 26 names. Did he already make his team? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? That was quick. This is our first day, Herb. We got a week of this. <laughs> what about the advisory staff? Aren't they supposed to have a say in this? Yeah, technically, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, he has a vision. Craig's game has been off since his mom died. And they were seeing when his game's on. Is this the first day that they're making these cuts? Morrow, Suter, Ramsey, Janicek. And that's the roster for now. The rest of you, thanks for coming out. So many probably top tier athletes just walking out. More of you are going home. I won't be your friend. If you need one of those, take it up with Doc or Coach Patrick. He was uh, straight to the point and blunt. Yeah. Walter, every one of those boys was chosen for a specific reason. And they've been on the ice for years. I'm gonna back you on this, but I sure as hell hope you'll know what you're doing. So does he. 
You stop by a policeman, but you know you're not at fault. You got 300 of these things. It's just a test? It's not even about hockey? Hey, Rizzo. What's going on? Mac. Hey, I better get on the same side pretty quickly. Handsy over there cheap shots me. He steals the ring right off my finger. How'd you feel? Oh, okay. Where you going? To my room. Is that all right with you? I want to get so many penalty minutes, right? Yeah, he's a little uh, hot-headed. Yeah. Over hit him, Johnson. He's open. It's not what he was supposed to do. Next line up. Let's go. Let's run it again. I feel like he's about to try to take a cheap shot. Breakout play, gentlemen. Uh. Oh. Let him go. And just fight it out. It's never gonna end if they break it up, right? I guess. Look like hockey to you? More like a couple of monkeys trying to hump a football to me. I don't know. <laughs> what the f We start becoming a team right now. Where you from? Who you are? You know, go ahead. Breaking the ice on the ice. I'm Ralph Cox. I'm from where it's not gonna get me hit. <laughs> Wondering why you wouldn't take this test. I just don't see what it has to do with stopping a pop. That's all right. You just took it anyway. Oh, man. It's like, wait, please let me take it. How's your family doing? We're doing all right. And you? Okay. Is this the guy who lost his mom? I think so. My dad's going through a rough time right now. My mom wanted this. I'll see you in the morning. Don't forget to bring your game. He's got to... Oh, definitely grab that out of the trash. <laughs> <laughs> Limited quantities. Look at those lines. Herb has a reason for everything he does. It seems like it so far. It's an entirely different type of team. Yeah. Maybe if they hate him, they won't have time to hate each other. The common enemy strategy. How much longer are you going to be? Huh? I still got a few more. Is he watching tape on the Russians? I think so. Can you pick up Danny at 4 o'clock? Well, we got team meetings after practice tomorrow. Well, I can't be in two places at one time. You'll figure it out. Oh. Can you turn that off, please? Yeah, that was the wrong answer. <laughs> right. Uh, you'll figure it out. I don't recall being a part of the conversation. Fuck this up real quick with his wife. Are we going to do this every four years? Go finish your work. Go, go. It seems very personal already. Yeah. I don't know if you can be with me on this because it won't mean anything if you're not. Kind of reminds me of like Rocky and Adrian. It's always needing your partner in your corner. I can't promise you we'll be the best team, but we will be the best conditioned team. He's about to run them into the ground, or I guess, skate them into the ground. This winger, this far side winger, he's gonna come in here and take the center spot. Who you play for? University of Wisconsin coach. I feel like only one person's answered that correct. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. We're opening up options. You guys got that? Anybody have any questions? <sighs> they all look so lost. There you go, that was some good movement. I know nothing about hockey, but that seems pretty good. Keeping the three of you together on the same line. You know, always find each other at the other end of the ice and make things happen. Try to shoot and score. It's like they share the same brain. <laughs> like we're taking a line of coneheads to Europe. They can keep their legs under them. Something on your mind, Craig? Yeah. yeah. You know, I just don't think you can push them this hard, Herb, not for six months. Tired. Whole team's tired. So now I see all the little subtle, oh, rest up. If they can keep their legs underneath them. Make sure I could push them this hard. All right. I mean, he does everything for a reason. Oh. Oh. That was a collision. Section two of the four rows up. Oh, they're just checking out ladies. Twins, so about seven to row up. Seven to row. Wow. Maybe you take a few home with us. Must be something in the water. He's gonna lose it. Oh, yeah. Get a whistle. Oh, he's gonna make them do whatever sprint skates. You guys don't wanna work during the game? No problem, we'll work now. Man, after a full game. And in front of all these people. That seemed kind of sluggish. Think you can win on talent alone? You don't have enough talent. I think he's gonna break more than one of these people physically. Norwegian national team and tie them and then go to the Olympics and win. I didn't even notice the scores. They tied? Yeah, it was 3-3. Three, three. But their heads weren't in it. Yeah. Win, lose, or tie, you're gonna play like champion. Oh no. Again. Oh my, one of these guys is gonna drop. You keep playing this way, you won't beat anybody who's even good. <laughs> the ring manager. 
Oh, they're starting to drop. And you better start playing at a level that's going to force me to keep you here. Oh, that's not stopping him. Back on the line. Oh. Yeah. oh my god, this is unbearable for me. This has gone on long enough. Everybody on that line. Somebody's going to get hurt. It's like a game of good coach, bad coach. Michael Ruzioni! Who do you play for? I play for the United States of America. There you go. That's all, gentlemen. Oh, wow. <laughs> Someone just needed to give the right answer. Oh, man, though. <laughs> They're going to be rough shape. <laughs> yeah. We're taxiing out to the runway, right? You know, we kind of had a moose. <laughs> the moose is fine, but we got to make sure the airplane's all right now. <laughs> the moose. I think the moose is okay. We ran off, I thought. I mean, moose are huge. Try it. As the Soviets dominate the score of six to nothing. Jeez. An embarrassing evening. Moose-free runway, hopefully. They don't so much look for the man as they do a patch of ice. Boris Mikhailov, captain for the last six years. He is the best player at his position. The Russians, they get shot if they smile. <laughs> Let us love Tretiak. Score on Tretiak. Keep the puck. Man. 42 games in the last three months. 42 wins. Their main weapon is intimidation. No wonder. Yeah. Seems like they've earned it. You don't defend them. You attack. Interesting. Best defense is a good offense. Yeah. To skate with the Soviet team for an entire game. We are going to work hard enough. We're hard now, boys. I mean, it makes sense. Everyone's so concerned on how do you stop the Russians. No one's thinking, how do you attack the Russians? Oh. Oh. That was three down? I think so. How's your legs? Oh, I know and I can feel them. At least they're talking to each other. I'm gonna fill the open lane. And I'm gonna fill in for Pat's lane. Exactly. Right. Like that they're calling them the cone heads to their faces <laughs> yeah. now. Not gonna have anything left in the third period if you don't build your legs now. What's it give us, boys? All right, let's run it. All right, they're all responding now. Hey, Herb, what's going on? We're playing the Soviets three days before Lake Placid? Yeah, how about that. They played them before? I mean, they just played uh, Norway, Norway, right? Yeah. How do I cut this kid? He's done everything I've asked of him. I didn't think it was going to be this hard. It's a good thing, I guess. I love you, Paul. You too, son. He's going through so much. Why is he here? Hey, you guys know he was coming? Jump on Johnson's life today, okay? Good to have you. Oh, man. Shaking things up quite a bit. Maybe it's just to make him worried? Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if it's like a tactic to kind of make sure that they stay focused. Yeah. See you, boys. I mean, it would suck for this guy to kind of be using him like that, but... Unless he knows. Right. Well, we all know Herb made the Olympic team back in 60. He's at one week later, Herb's home on his couch with his old man watching his team win the gold medal. Oh. I'm that close and get nothing? He'll do whatever it takes. That's my point. Oh. That's so much worse than I thought. I thought he was on the team. You still have everything you won here in Minnesota? You don't know this enough to tell me. Don't ever criticize me for caring about you. Yeah, he has a history of kind of putting his foot in his mouth. Also, I was not prepared for how topical this movie was going to be. Right? I'm not sure that. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy who scored? Mm-hmm. I'm not too proud of him. That's all I care about. Definitely he's messing with his head. Some of the boys want to have a word. What about? Get out of here, man. I don't think this is gonna go well. This better take about two minutes. Bringing them in this late. Want me to say I'm scared of getting cut? I'm scared of getting cut. Everybody is. Well, somebody here better explain to me why I shouldn't be giving him a hell of a look. Because we're a family. I mean, he did break them into the ground until they kind of became one. We got one more to get down to 20. You understand? Dang. It does suck for that guy, especially because <laughs> he's so good. Right? To Craig. That's beautiful, boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you're gonna like this one. What? Very good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, you guys have a great holiday. Thanks. Yeah, that was a really bad speech. I'm sad that one of them's gonna be going home. I know. Who is it? Simply some romantic dream. They better not get injured or anything. Our development as a people, confidence in the future. <laughs> we cannot. Failed. Hmm. Talk to you. 
her boss is here. Oh. It's gotta be crushing. Wait, is he a cone head? I don't think that's a cone head. Come in. God, this has to suck. Well, there's just no easy way of doing this. I wish like hell I could keep you, Ralph. I do. Yeah. You're a hell of a hockey player. Thanks for giving me a shot, coach. Thanks for giving me your very best. <sighs> that sucks. Yeah. Especially because he knows how it feels, and he was dropped a week before. Well, you got your wish. Saying they're gonna prove how good they are by beating us over here on our own ice. Yeah, I got my team. This could either be like a morale boost or... Yeah, because you don't have that much time to change anything or... I'm nervous. Oh yeah. I think they're about to get shocked. Getting a mixed reaction from the uh, capacity audience. <laughs> mixed. A few booze going through the crowd as well. <laughs> In Lake Placid. <laughs> they all look so angry. They said they can't smile. Yeah. Two, three, USA! And we're ready to go with this warm-up contest. They look so much more intimidating. I'll go hard, boys! You need in control, making a charge into the team USA zone. A Fire, shot for moving in with a shot. Oh. To stick on the puck as Ramsey brings it up to blue line. Oh my. Back door, MC, look out! Moving in for the point, shoots, he scores. Damn, that was quick. Oh, Spokoy's down. Break down, break down. They also look really big. Yeah, they're huge. Oh my gosh, how many times are they going to say score? Rubbing Team USA 10 to 3. Wow. Playing together for 10 years. We've got a bunch of college kids out there still getting to know each other. 10 to 3. I'm hoping it's just a ligament pull, but it could be a 10. Who? Oh, fuck. Wasn't he the one who got knocked out of the championship game, too? Yeah, I think so. Man, 10 to 3 and you lose one of your starters. Uh, besides that, I think it's time I give Janny a look. You can't do that. They just scored 10 goals, Jim. Right now, it's everybody's net. <laughs> Holy crap. I'll take your test. Is that what you want? No. I want to see that kid in the net who wouldn't take the test. Jeez. Got your airplane tickets. Oh, yeah. Walter and sent over. Hey, Patty. Yeah. I miss you, too. Good night. Good job, Herb. <laughs> Say something good for once to your wife. So are they going to bring that other guy back then, maybe? Ralph, I think, was his name, who they cut? Potentially. The good news is it's not a tear. It's a stretch ligament, so he won't need surgery. You lose one more skater, you're going to have a tough time putting a decent hockey team on the ice. Can they not just cycle in more reserves as the games go on? Keep the dog. Oh, it's probably rules. Jack, I got 20 guys to think about here. I understand, coach. Which is why I'm hanging on to you. Oh. I swear to God, Herb, if you're not being serious <laughs> right now, I promise you, Coach. Because if you do, Jack, I'll stick your ass on an airplane and you're headed back to Boston. Oh, man. All right, Doc's waiting for you. Thank you, Herb. You better rest. Right? Do everything you can to rest for the next two weeks. Slow down. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I mean, you got to keep the family together. They did just get absolutely wrecked. Yeah. That's just like looming. I mean, sometimes you gotta get hit in the mouth to come back stronger. Whoa. Move your feet, boys! Move your feet! Four ten to go in the first period. It's Sweden leading the United- Oh, crap. I think he's done for the night. Can he hurt it any worse? Well, no, but it will be very painful for him and he won't be able to do very much. You're gonna make him play? Who are we playing, Rammer? Sweden. Sweden! <laughs> Okay, I got their attention. Doc told me I can't play. Yeah, yeah, I know. You got a bad bruise. I got no time for quitters. Nobody's quitting here. You worry about your own game. Only there to keep you busy. <laughs> oh, God. Bruise on the leg is a hell of a long way from the heart. You want me to play, huh? I want you to be a hockey player. I am a hockey player. I'm playing one leg. That'll get him going. Get off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll, I'll clean up. Oh my gosh. Sweden leading 2 1. 
He's gonna kill someone. After the loose puck. He's hit hard by Soderstrom. Come on, man. McClanahan, gutting it out. Come on, man. Come on, man. Keep going, keep going. It's hustling. Yeah. Get oh, he's hit hard by McClanahan. 140 remaining in the game. Oh, come on. Passes across to Allberg. Rip shot. Knocked out of the air by Craig. Go, Coneheads. Jimmy, come on now. And Brooks is pulling goalie. Oh, shit. 45 seconds left to play. Sweetly. Oh, my God. Kicks it loose. Pass across to Baker. Oh, thank you. That was way too stressful. And that was For just, the first round. <laughs> and that was just a tie. Huge underdogs defeating Czechoslovakia. Second best team in the world. Whoa. The final score, seven to three. Seven to three against the second best in the world? It's the US up five to one in the third period. Jeez. They're killing it. Still no chance we can talk with any of our players. Still no chance. Keep the spotlight on yourself. <laughs> it just doesn't say anything. Let's go. Oh! United States will play the Soviet Union in the first game tomorrow. Whoa. Uh, we have the U.S. assistant coach, Craig Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was making it about himself. Right. And so they played the Soviets in the first round? Figured that would be coming in the finals or something? I got a telegram, you know what I said? Beat those commie bastards. <laughs> There's no disgrace in losing in this team. Hmm. You got this far. I mean, they are the best in the world. Those 20 boys knowing in 20 years they didn't leave anything on the table. That's the important thing. So nervous. Yeah. Especially if they got dominated the first time they played. They're just doing so well, though, so... You ready to go? You serious? Suit up. Man, in the most important game. Yeah. It is way too quiet. You were meant to be here. Tonight, their time is done. They have their time. I'm sick and tired of hearing about what a great hockey team the Soviets have. <laughs> this is your time. Now go out there and take it. That was that good. That was a great speech. Yeah. Oh man, all the telegrams. Here we go, man. Here we go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Someone needed to hit his. In a political or nationalistic sense, I'm sure this game is being viewed with varying perspectives. I wonder if this is the real broadcast. I, I think it. I think it probably is. U.S. team, very young, average age, 21 years old. Jeez. Some of them have been playing together for the last 15 years. Yeah. They know each other so well, playing for 15 years together. Move on, move on. There we go. Ice by Castro. They just seem so fast. A pass in front of the U.S. net, and a shot Ooh. deflected by Craig. Petra. Oh. oh. He shoots, saved by oh, Petra. Cleared out of the U.S. Oh, oh. 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 crap. Good blocks, dude. Golikov, across the Petra. Oh, my God. Use those boards. Petra for the puck, screen, across screen. the... They're so fast, it's like there's more of them out there. Right. He oh, fires it along the boards. Picked up behind the net by Bunch Snyder. Oh, oh, what the fuck was that? The point. Slasher, deflected in. Crap. Forget about it. Forget about it now. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I mean, my knowledge of hockey is practically zero, but that seemed pretty fucking illegal. Another big save by Jim Cray. Jeez, Jim. It's like you can't even touch these. Oh, never mind. The boy to hit. Oh, there you go. How's he get in there? Oh, he's going in. Kutov with the puck now. Moving up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He went in there and practically killed one of them. Contribution with that hit on Krutov. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just don't look at him in the eyes. Krutov is Oh my god, he just went through all of them. Damn. They're just like dancing out there. I mean, it's only 2 1. Petrov for the puck. Quick catch to Harlem. Stop by Craig. Oh, man. Move it up! Move it up! Get it out of there! But Johnson is there. And 
Oh my wow. god! Wow! The United States is tied the game. What the heck? Kaiser, the referee indicating that the goal stands. Oh, thank God that goal stands. And there'll be a change for the Soviet Union as Vladimir Mishkin becomes the new goalie. Whoa, they switched goalies? Just put the best goaltender in the world on the bench. Yeah, I feel like that's a overcorrection. The game's tied and they benched him. Shot. Slotted away by Craig. Craig's blocked so much. Best Christian. Shoots. Shot. <laughs> Oh, what? Score. Is he okay? They just took out the goalie. Can you do that? Allowing Maltsev an easy goal on an open net. He just slammed his head into the ice. During these 11 Jimmy, you need Doc? No, I'm good. Just give me a sec. Yeah, he's not getting out. 20 minutes left in the game that's closer than most anyone anticipated. Three to two with 20 minutes left. Kasatanov and Fatisov. That's a great death stare. <laughs> I got it. Centering for the shot. Saved by Craig. Man, how many times are they going to say saved by Craig? Get it out of there. With a puck down. And he goes down. And we've got a... Thank you. Yes, oh, going off for slashing. Coneheads, let's go. Coneheads. Yes. Coneheads. Boys, let's take advantage of this now. Got belt. two minutes. Callahan oh. moving it up. Two minutes and the Coneheads. <laughs> yeah. Across to McClanahan. Back across the show. Parker shot the... Damn, this new goal is blocking everything. He's checked. Blue's putt. Picked up by Johnson. Yes! And the Americans with the putt. Clear it. Mm. I don't like that at no. all. He shoots. He shoots. He took the lead? <laughs> yeah. And now we've got Benlock. I was expecting like some horrific blindside hit or something after that little ominous conversation. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes left to play but they still need to play with that same like yeah. underdog mentality a drive just wider than that Kutov with the puck right in front oh my god the charge up the ice he fires his shot Ooh. Rip shot from Petrov. please I cannot see him save anymore we're gonna go four, with short three. shift boys 30 to 40 seconds 30 second shifts I guess just keep everyone just rotate. Uh, yeah, just as fresh as possible. Kasatanov leaves it for Mikhailov. Oh, whoa. Yeah, it was like a whole wall. Slap shot. Knocked away by... Oh, my God. When it went slow motion, I thought that was it. Oh, get off the ice. Get off the ice. Moving in on the net. That stop. Oh, jeez. Change him up. Change him up. Go. Golikov moving it up the... Oh, my. There's so much movement. <laughs> Oh, no, he didn't get it. How well conditioned this U.S. team is. I've never seen this movie yeah. out. Condition. Right? Oh, my God. Makarov over the blue line to Malta. Holy crap. Get it the fuck out of here. Let him get back up. Five seconds left in the game. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! <laughs> that was such a stressful 10 minutes. Man, the MVP should go to Craig. Blocked everything. <laughs> My boys defeated Finland to win the gold medal. Coming from behind once again. Oh, jeez. I forgot that wasn't even for the gold medal. Now that we have dream teams, we seldom ever get to dream. Wow. Oh, no way. Wow. He never saw it. He lived it. All right. That was a miracle. What'd you think? I loved it. That was great. That was so cute, so heartwarming. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, one of those like leg shaking movies at the end there. I mean, especially like the last 30 minutes in the movie was pretty much just the hockey game between them and the Soviet Union. I know this is based on a true story, so I didn't want to just imagine that, oh, they're going to take it, they're going to win the whole thing. And I feel like a lot of it too, there was so much pressure on just being a family and being a team and everything, and I felt like they met that goal. Right. So they didn't have to win. No, I mean, I could see it as that they just 
tied or I don't know if you could technically do that at this point or just played very, very well, better than everyone thought, got maybe silver or whatever. Yeah, maybe, they, or maybe they just beat the Soviet Yeah, Union. They, maybe they beat the Soviet yeah. Union and then still got silver. So it's not like just because this was a movie, I was automatically expecting them to just win it all. Yeah, I was hoping so because it's called Miracle. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but um, it was still like nerve wracking at the end. Because the way I now see a lot of stuff is like Rocky, the first Rocky movie, how Technically he lost, but it was his victory. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of viewing it through that lens that how much do they need to accomplish for it to be a victory for them? Mm -hmm. But they won it all. So. Yeah, they took everything. I was gonna say at the end, that moment between Jimmy and his dad made me cry. Yeah, just them looking at each other. Yeah, it was just so sweet. Like after everything that they had gone through and the fact that his dad was like there and he was getting to play and he was the MVP 1 million percent. Phenomenal. Yeah, so that moment just like got me. Oh yeah, especially, I mean, that was his mom's wish to see her son doing that and yeah. he accomplished that. Yeah. So that was beautiful. I mean, the whole movie was beautiful. We said during the video that we're not very knowledgeable when it comes to hockey. No. I mean, I, I watch plenty of sports, but hockey's not one of them. Yeah, I mean, we've been to a handful of hockey games. That's what I was gonna. Sure. That's what I was gonna say. We've gone to a few hockey games, and it's easily one of the best times I've ever had at a sporting event. Yeah, no, hockey games are super exciting. Uh, go Kings! <laughs> but just because we don't fully understand the game doesn't mean that it's not very exciting. Oh yeah. Incredibly exciting. I mean, there's so much to love about hockey too, because it's essentially the brutality of football, but on ice. <laughs> so it's just yeah, I mean, the skill that it takes and the speed. I mean, these guys are so going so fast, like to just kind of stop on a dime and be turning and reacting to what other people are doing. Like it takes so much skill to play hockey. I think that's what's so impressive about it is the, just the sheer speed of everything. Mm -hmm. And the, the size of the puck is yeah. like, it's, like a quarter. I mean, it's nearly impossible to see. So even for a goalie. Yeah, with the mask on. And I feel like that's, you know, they have all this crazy big gear and stuff and the goal is relatively small, mm -hmm. but it's because it's just, has to be nearly impossible to stop the freaking thing. Yeah, no, I mean, the the pucks are tiny. I actually recall, I think the last time we went to a game saying this was, I can't even keep track. Like I'm better off watching the screen at the game. Yeah, when you're just watching it, you're just, I'm well, like, where, where is, is it? the puck? <laughs> so can you imagine being there like in the full motion of it? It's incredibly impressive. And I feel like the movie captured that very well. Mm -hmm. Just the way that it was shot in general, when it needed to be chaotic, it was chaotic. Mm -hmm. When when you needed to understand what was going on, you definitely could. It was kind of very clear when, you know, the American team was in a positive situation versus in a negative one. Mm -hmm. So it was very easy to digest as someone who, you know, knows little about hockey. Definitely enjoyable for any range of hockey knowledge. Right. Kurt Russell, always fantastic, but I do have to say almost unrecognizable in this film. Yeah, we've seen him in quite a few things now, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, The Thing. Uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Oh yeah, I love that one. Escape from New York. Yes. Yeah, and maybe more, I don't know if uh, Yeah, I feel, like there, I feel like there might be one or two more. But we've seen him in a lot and- oh, Tango and Cash. Tango and Cash, of course. I feel like he had a prosthetic nose, potentially. I don't know, there was something, cause I don't even view Kurt Russell now as a really old looking guy. No, he definitely looked much older. Um, and I feel like his face looked rounder. Not that he had like put on weight or anything, but I do feel like he, it looked rounder and I feel like his nose. I feel like maybe there was some some makeup for sure because he was essentially unrecognizable to the Kurt Russell that we've kind of seen. Yeah. And even in the very beginning when I was like, man, he looks really crazy, doesn't he? And you're like, I didn't even know. I did not even realize it was him. Yeah. I do not know a soul from Minnesota, but I imagine that is exactly what Minnesota <laughs> accent sounds like, so I'm gonna say that he did a good job. Yeah, he tricked us. <laughs> um, let me know if it if it was. Not it it could it could have been horrible. Who knows? <laughs> it's just the O's. Is that what it is? Yeah. I mean, I, I think everyone did a great job. I mean, 
obviously we don't really know the real representations that they're making, mm -hmm. but the emotions that everyone had, the pain that you would see in people's eyes, the differences in just them when they were tired or scared, or even I think it was coming into the third period against the Soviets when they were just waiting for the puck to drop and they looked like they were ready to kill. No dialogue, no, nothing other than just their eyes. So I feel like everyone did fantastic. Kurt Russell was fantastic. Definitely a much different role than what we've seen him typically play. Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely felt like a Disney film. Yeah. The writing, all of it. And so obviously we haven't seen Kurt Russell in that type of role. Right. But as you said earlier, kind of the comparison with Rocky, I feel like there were like a ton of moments that you could compare. Um, during the reaction, you talked about Rocky and Adrian, and then we have Kurt Russell and Patricia Clarkson. Right. I feel like he needed her in his corner. She was a little, definitely a little bit more happy and energetic mm -hmm. and stuff, uh, but he definitely needed her. Yeah, no, I mean, she, she was like supporting him no matter what. And it seems like obviously this had been going on for a very long time since he was cut from the team and right. he missed out on a gold himself. This just was like his final shot to be a coach and to still kind of get that gold, even if it, he wasn't actually playing. Right, but have a massive role in it, mm -hmm. maybe even one of the biggest roles because he put the team together. Yeah, and then another kind of tie-in that I had with Rocky, this isn't as like close, but it just kind of reminded me, like we watch Rocky just like get beat over and over and over and they talk about like his stamina and the fact that he's, I mean, he doesn't even put his arms up and he's still <laughs> just getting like beat and hit and hit. And I feel like when they were kind of talking about their conditioning at the end of this and they are like, wow, like they've worn them out, like all of that stuff, it's like, it brought me back to Rocky and the fact that he just like never goes down and these guys were just like skating circles around the Soviet team. Oh yeah, I mean everyone. Uh, I forgot the name of the individual who hurt his leg or his knee mm -hmm. and staying there doing the rehab and when his time came made a huge impact in the most critical game. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just about that that drive of not giving up. Even that one moment, I think the very first game that they played in the Olympics when they were losing and the other guy had the the bruise mm -hmm. and he was like a, a bruise on the leg is pretty far from a, like a bruise on your heart or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. But it was that same thing where it's just like the difference between you and the other person is your heart and are you going to give up or not? Mm -hmm. um, so the movie was just incredibly inspirational through every single moment. And it was also very sad and I feel like it, it gave its time to those moments that were just rough. I mean, cutting down the team, especially that like scene with, I believe his name was Ralph, mm -hmm. cutting him, like to see what it did to him, to see what it did to Herb. The movie, it balanced all of those positive and negative moments really well. Yeah, and I loved the relationship between Herb and I don't know what the other coach's name was. I think it was Craig. I'm not sure. But I love their relationship, like the kind of good cop, bad cop. Yeah. Like, if you guys need a friend, you need to go to them. Um, and obviously the doctor was really cool too and pretty crucial. Oh yeah. Uh, especially to hockey, I imagine there's a lot of injuries oh, even yeah. that we didn't see. That might be the most unbelievable thing in the movie is that everyone had all of their teeth, <laughs> it seemed like. <laughs> True. <laughs> so I, I definitely feel like this was a great change of pace. I mean, we don't really watch very many heartfelt. The last one was baseball. This one was hockey. Primarily a lot of the sports stuff on our channel has been boxing just because of so many Rocky films. Yeah. And then, you know, we're doing a Stallone series on the channel, doing De Niro on the channel. So the, we've got Kurt Russell too on the channel. Yeah. He just keeps popping up in movies that are extremely recommended. Yeah. And super good. I thoroughly enjoyed this. It absolutely made me want to watch more hockey games. And like we've said, the times that we've gone to actual hockey games, so awesome. Yeah. No, so much fun. The atmosphere. And I feel like hockey crowds like really into it, which uh, makes it even more fun. And shockingly and depressingly, the movie was very uh, 
repetitive of current events, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, in the beginning we got to see the full um, kind of history, I guess, of maybe the 70s. I think it went from like 60s to 70s to into the 80s or whatever. Yeah, well, because the, the Olympics were in the 80s. Right. Or in 80, right. 1980. But very interesting to see, obviously, things seem to very much be repeating themselves <laughs> yeah. in more ways than one. So that was shockingly similar. And another thing that I really kind of was excited about was, even though sometimes it's a little like rah-rah, but I'm trying to think of like, when was the last time the Olympics or something where there was this major event where everyone clearly was on the same page and supporting the same thing? Yeah. So I, I don't know. know. I can't even really think of it. I feel like maybe the World Cup what, like two or three World Cups ago, maybe? But I don't know. Sports brings people together. Yeah. And I think that's what this movie really encapsulated very well. Mm -hmm. So I loved it because it just was a good time. And when it's over, you feel good. Yeah, I loved it. So if you'd like to see the full link reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, Peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.